Hi, welcome back. I hope you had positive results by getting at your child's level and making eye contact. As you watch this video, notice how today's skill integrates with what we did last week, and I have a surprise for you at the end. Won't it be great to really have your child see you as the source of listening, the person they trust when they have any kind of joy or sorrow to share? So I want you to use your facial expressions to mirror or copy what your child seems to be telling you. If they're excited, show excitement. If they're worried, show concern. Watch this. Daddy, Daddy, guess what? What? Today in school, I lost my other front tooth. Hey, good job, let me see. Oh my gosh, what a big gap. Dad, I got in trouble on the bus today. Mm, tell me about it. Well, I was just kind of joking around with Anna. And then Miss Leach got really mad at us and made us sit in front all by ourselves for a whole week. Wow, sounds like a lot of long bus rides. <laughs> now I don't know at this point what she's really upset about. Because I know her, I'm guessing she's embarrassed to be in the front seat. But it could be lots of things. My job is just to listen and find out what's going on. I want to mirror her concerns so she knows I'm with her. I might say, embarrassing, huh? Or, tell me more. You might want to write that down. Those three words can really open doors. I use them all the time. The hard part is that you might be tempted to jump in right away, ask lots of questions, attach blame somewhere, and try to solve the problem or give your opinion. Put duct tape over your mouth, whatever you need to do to hold off on solutions and advice until you really get what they are saying. Later, we'll talk about how to respond appropriately and help your child move towards solving their own problems. The truth is, you always want your child to feel free to talk to you about anything. So listen first, that's the key. Get down to your child's level, give warm eye contact, and let your face mirror the emotion you see. I invite you to try it out this week. Find a time each day when you can give your child and yourself the gift of listening, the gift of being present, be the no judgment zone. And here's the surprise bonus. This is a tool that can make a huge difference in other relationships, with your spouse, with your boss, even with your mother-in-law. Just ask Jack. He used these skills to reopen lines of communication with his ex-wife and engineered a turnaround in their co-parenting relationship. It was a big deal. Do you have a friend or a family member who might like to use tools like these? Please make it easy for them and forward this right now while you're thinking about it. Maybe great listening will go viral. Next week, I've got a sanity saver that our family uses every week. See you soon.